got to understand them and understand their needs and so far as possible meet them. Uh, and then, most importantly, you've got to understand the influence they have back in the home base, in their own country, with families and wives and uh, mothers and fathers and all the rest of them. Because if you get that wrong and lose the support of the public at home, you're suddenly going to find that, that politically you don't get the support that you need to run your war. And this uh, is uh, now uh, an issue that has to be addressed because the media has got the communications. And if it's addressed, and addressed imaginatively, then you can use it to your advantage and see that, that uh, the British public know what's going on, they understand the problems. I don't mean by that they understand every single military uh, operation that's going on or uh, things that you really want to keep from them, but they do understand the way the war's being run, the way it's working out. And that is going to be very important to you as commander from the morale point of view. And you can then use it. You can get them to send all sorts of parcels and presents. You can get uh, to uh, say the right things to their sons and daughters out in the battlefield. Uh, and uh, that helps you run your operation. You keep morale up. Because you see, when you're running a war, one of the most important things is to uh, uh, maintain morale of the people out there.